Hi guys, we just finished watching a movie about how planets are made. And watching that movie, we saw how as planets are made, the planets form different layers. Inner layers being heavy elements or heavy kinds of atoms, outer layers being lighter kinds of atoms. Today we're going to make model planets. The model planets on the ceiling are accurate in some ways and not accurate in others. These are accurate for relative size. Jupiter is very big, Cirrus is very small. They are accurate for the colors of their outer layers, but they're not accurate for the materials, they're not accurate for what's inside. The insides of all of these are exactly the same. The models that you make today are going to be accurate for the thickness of each layer and the material or the kinds of atoms or elements that make up each layer of your planet. Let's take a look now and see how we're going to build model planets. Before you begin building, use the paper diagrams to plan out your model planet. I'm going to make my inner core gray because when my inner core is made of solid iron and when I think of solid iron I think of steel and metal which when it's solid it's kind of grayish. So my inner core is gray for solid iron. My outer core is liquid iron and for that I think of kind of hot lava and hot metals. So for that I'm going to draw orange. My mantle is liquid iron, silica, oxygen, and other elements. So my mantle's not quite as hot as my outer core, so I'm going to make it a little bit red. And I think I'm going to mix in just a, oh, just a little bit of gray for the silica rock. So mostly red, but a little bit of gray for the rock. So my crust is going to be mostly brown for the dirt and rocks, silica rocks that make up my crust of the earth. So you'll continue layer by layer until you've done everything from the core to the atmosphere. If your planet has mountains or craters, you'll add those things. And when you've done all your layers, you'll show your work to your teacher. If ever you're not sure of a color, just ask for help. If your teacher approves of your drawing, you're ready to start building the model planet. Step one, make a ball for your planet's core. Step two, make a ball for your mantle. Notice that you'll need slightly more clay for your mantle ball than you needed for your core ball. Each layer will be slightly larger than the one before it. Flatten your mantle ball into a pancake. Carefully wrap your mantle pancake around your ball core. Use a plastic knife or your fingernails to carefully pinch off the extra clay. Smooth out any cracks. and repeat the process for additional layers. Need to make an extra thick layer, make a second pancake just like the first. It's always better to make two thin pancakes rather than one thick pancake. Whenever you change colors or before using different clay, 
carefully put any extra clay wrapped and back in its appropriate container. Whenever you change colors, use a paper towel to clean the roller. That way your colors will be separate when you want them to be. After you've finished all of your layers and check with your teacher if you're not sure how to do a clear atmosphere, you're ready to do rings if your planet has rings. Make a snake of rocks and ice. I usually use gray, brown, or white and kind of mix them together. A plastic knife or edge of the spoon gently cut a groove into the side of your planet. Wrap your snake around your ball and gently pinch it into the groove. When you are done, put your planet in your cup and your cup in the class bin. You may add moons if you have extra time and your planet has moons. Soon, we'll put your planets in the oven and cut them so you can see all the layers from the outside and the inside. Just remember to let your teacher do any cutting and you might have to wait a few classes before we're ready to cut. If you have finished your planet and extra moons, help a friend finish theirs. If you're unable to help or have finished helping, use the planet data table and complete more research on your planet. Start with the planet layers page.